Hey, welcome back to At Home Pixels. Today we're gonna show you how to make these cute Santa tags for Christmas gifts in Adobe Illustrator. Um, I'm gonna walk you through how I made these so you can make something similar or even you can copy my design. Uh, follow through and you'll see that it's pretty quick and simple and let's get started. Once you have Adobe Illustrator opened, you're going to open up a letter document. Um, and this just means that it's an eight and a half by 11. And we're gonna choose the pen tool and we're gonna shape out the Santa tag uh, shape. So I'm just clicking and using those smart guides and creating a rough shape. So I'm only making it to about the center because I am going to copy the shape Okay, so I'm gonna make this shape black, and then I'm gonna reflect that shape vertically and copy it so that I can get the same shape on both sides. And I'm actually gonna overlap it a little bit because I didn't want it that wide. Then I'm gonna to go to the Pathfinder tool and blend it. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that I can see my shape, and I'm going to then create an outline on it so that I can create that design within it. And I'm going to just decrease this outline uh, stroke weight so it's not so thick and in your face. Um, then I'm gonna open up my ruler guides by doing Control R and dragging the ruler out to the center of that. Then I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool and create a circle that is also over that center line and you can use that to punch out, uh, a guide to punch out the, the center part of the tag. Okay, so then the next thing is we need to start creating some text. And I want the company, so-called, to be called North Pole Parcel Service. So I'm just center, centering this text again, and I'm gonna open up my Font Picker app. Um, this is on a Mac. I've used another font app on a PC called Nexus Font that I really like. I'm not sure if it's still around, um, but that one I really liked. Uh, this one I just like because I can type out what I want and scroll through fonts a little bit easier. You can kind of do this through Illustrator, but sometimes it's just nice to see it all in one place. And so I'm just going to scroll through and find a font that I think would look good and Christmassy, but also a little bit vintage. Okay, so I ended up choosing this font called Antidotum, and I want to see if I can find a font similar, but maybe not quite this one. And so in the Illustrator text, um, character panel, I open that up and I hit those wavy lines next to it and that brings up all the text the Illustrator thinks is similar. This isn't a perfect process, but it works really well in most cases. So I'm just gonna go through and try and find the um, some other fonts that I like that are similar. And as you see, I've copied out that original font to the right side just so I have it, just in case I do end up liking that one the best. Okay, so I'm really liking this cash font. And I am now using that guideline to center my text. And I want parcel service to be a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to create a, a line to go to the left and right of the North Pole. And since I want it to look like the text, I actually just typed out an L and flipped it sideways so that I have this line to make it look more of a logo-like. Okay, I'm gonna speed it up here so it doesn't get too boring and this video doesn't end up being super long. So I'm choosing a new font um, for some lined items and the font I ended up choosing for this date to open is called a Aphelis in the bold. And so I'm just writing out date to open and then a line and then some more text for December 22nd. And I wanted it to look kind of like a stamp 
And so I'm using that stencil type of font, but I didn't end up liking it. So um, later on, you'll see I do a different font. And then I'm going to do a deliver to line. And then I move the date to open line down on the bottom. And then I'm going to create some nice and naughty check marks using the same font as the North Pole. Then I'm going to create a dash line. And you do that through the stroke. And then you just clicked on the dash line box. And then at the bottom, I'm doing package number, and I thought it'd be cute to do 1225, like Christmas. And then I tilted him just a little bit so it looked like it was stamped by a person and it didn't look too computerized. And then I'm going to do another checked box, um, checked twice, which I thought would be a cute addition. And then I'm just going to move some things around, and I'm going to put Delivered with Love by Santa Claus. And I want Santa Claus to look like he almost signed it himself. And so I'm choosing a really fancy font that I feel like would look like Santa Claus's signature. And so I'm just moving these elements around. So basically there is our design. I'm going to color certain things that I feel like would look good in red. And um, then I'm going to make a check mark. And I did this by hand using the pencil tool. And the pencil tool makes it as a stroke line. So now I have the stroke palette open and I'm choosing just different profiles to see what looks good. And I don't really like any of them. So I ended up keeping it just uniform and increasing the weight just a little bit. And then I'm doing another um, check line just by copying it. And um, obviously it is checked on the nice box. And then last thing, at the top, I feel like it needed something, so I'm just doing special delivery, and I'm making it red, and then I also end up putting it in the same font as the Deliver 2. I think it's the Ithilus font. So right here, I'm speeding up even more to not bore you, but in my process of designing, I will usually make copies and change the text around. I like doing it this way because then I get a visual of what text I like the best. And so as you see here, I have six options and I'm going through and I'm just choosing text and different little elements to see which one I end up liking the most. Okay, so at the very end, you see that I copy the original one and then I end up changing a few of the fonts out. Okay, now we're gonna slow things down and we're gonna create a new letter document, which is the eight and a half by 11 page size. And I'm gonna name this Santa Tags and I'm gonna hit create. And then I'm gonna take my original design, select it and copy it. And then I'm gonna paste it into the, the letter document that we named Santa Tags. And I'm increasing the size to make it look more applicable and larger. And then I'm copying it so that I have a total of six to fit on one page. And then I'm gonna center it, and then I'm gonna save this as a PDF. And I actually have this PDF saved on my website that you can download for free so that you can print it out and use it as you need to. Um, so it's just over at my website at homepixels.com and you are welcome to download that for free and get that printed out. I will link all of the fonts that I used in this project. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Head to my website to get that resource and all of the things that I've used in this project, and I will see you next time. Bye!